Hey everybody, today I wanted to make a video about something that I recently purchased and it arrived in the mail today. Uh, and it's something that might kind of surprise you that I didn't already own, but I'll give you the reasons why. It is this box set. This is the Beatles 2009 CD stereo remaster box set. Now, of course, I have owned all of these CDs individually uh, back in 2009 when they came out. I bought most of them when they came out. I think the only ones I didn't have uh, were Let It Be and uh, the Past Masters CD. But I had all the other ones and I had all of the uh, 09 remasters digitally on my computer. So I've had these, um, these remasters for a long time. I've, I've lived with them, I've listened to them over and over and over again. Uh, and I've given a lot of uh, my opinions on these, uh, these remasters in many of my videos where I'm talking about the vinyl pressings and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I overall like these remasters, but I think when it comes to Beatles music, it will always, for me, the only, the best way to listen to them is uh, on vinyl. That's just my personal preference. But that being said, I always wanted to get this box set and I always kind of regretted that I didn't buy it when it came out originally. So in 2009, I was still a big Beatles collector, but I was really focusing all my attention on getting the Beatles on vinyl. That was like my main focus in 2009. So when, these, when this box set came out, um, I was excited to listen to it, but I didn't really want to shelve out the like, I think it was maybe around like $300 at the time when this came out, I could be wrong with that number. Um, but it was kind of expensive uh, in my opinion at the time. So I didn't shove out the money. I instead went the route of just buying the CDs individually. But I recently was going online and looking at random box sets and this came up and I got this for $40. Now, I will pay $40 all day long for just about anything that has to do with the Beatles. Just about. Um, and I saw this and of course, this box is not in perfect condition at all. But the cool thing about this box set is that all the CDs that were inside of here, except for one, were all still in their original shrink wrap, so they were sealed. The only one that wasn't was Please Please Me, and that CD was actually kind of damaged. So, uh, I think that's why this person sold this for such a low price. So what I did was I just put my old Please Please Me CD in this box set to complete it for now. And I recently just ordered a sealed Please Please Me CD um, that I'm gonna put this in here as well. So it'll be just a complete mint, as far as the CDs go, mint set. But I picked this up and I gotta say, it's really nice to have all of the CDs all packaged together in one box. Um, and by the way, I'm sure some of you are asking and thinking to yourself, is that a real box or is it a counterfeit box? It's definitely a real a real box. I checked it out, uh, did, did all the comparisons online with all like the fake boxes and the real boxes. And this is definitely a real one. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have probably seen this box or you own this box already, but I will kind of show you the contents of it. Just kind of a quick course here. So you open it up and I'll make sure these don't fall out, but there are the albums and they have these little uh, like ribbons in here so you can get the CDs out pretty easily. Now I've taken all the, uh, the shrink wrap off of all the CDs at this point. But here's Please 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 Me. This is my original one that I stuck in the box. Here is With the Beatles, Hard Day's Night, Beatles for Sale, which I love, Help, kind of hard to see, a little bit of glare there, Rubber Soul, Revolver, and Sergeant Pepper. And then the second stack, we have Magical Mystery Tour, the White Album. And I love the way the White Album is packaged, by the way, uh, in this box set. Very, very cool. Uh, Yelsa Marine. And let it be which by the way turned 50 years old yesterday i didn't make a really special video for that um just because i don't really mark those occasions all that often when the box set uh for let it be the alleged box set for let it be comes out i will of course make a video celebrating the 50th anniversary of it and all that but for now 
I'll just mark it by saying, happy birthday, let it be, 50 years old. Abbey Road. And Past Masters, which is cool to have. And the mini documentaries. Now, I have not watched this these mini documentaries. Oh, there's Bob, by the way. Bob says hello. Haven't watched these mini documentaries yet, but I think I've seen all the footage uh, that are in these mini documentaries. I think I've already seen all the footage, but I'm interested to uh, watch this and just kind of take it all in all at one time. But I got to say, it is really cool, like I said, to have all of these together. And, you know, I think when it comes to collecting the Beatles, it's sometimes easy to kind of get to get... Um, to kind of look look past some of these uh, Beatles CDs, like the original CDs from 1987, 88, and these 09 remasters. It's kind of easy to look past those if you're someone like me who you care so much about the sound of the Beatles music. Uh, and I devote almost all of my energy to collecting the records. Um, so sometimes I kind of forget about the CDs. Uh, and while I don't think I'll listen to this box set all that much, it's nice to have it. It's going to look nice sitting on my bookshelf. Um, I'll probably put it next to the Beatles singles collection um, that I recently got. And uh, it'll just look nice on the bookshelf. And it'll be nice to everyone's want to pull out one of these CDs, listen to it. Um, and yeah, so, oh, here comes Bob. He's going to go right in front of the camera. <laughs> Come on, Bob. What are you doing? What are you doing, Bob? He's making his appearance here. Okay. Hey, Bob has to make his appearance, and uh, he just did in a big way. Anyway, so the 09 box, stereo box set, I'm happy to pick this up, happy to have it uh, in my Beatles collection. I'd love to know in the comments below what some of you think about this box set, um, and do you own it? Do you want to own it? Maybe you, you owned it and you sold it. Um, I'd be curious to know what you think about it. Also, I'd like to say that I am trying to at some point pick up the mono box set as well for the CDs. Love, would love to have that as well. Those are very, very expensive. So again, I don't want to pay, you know, uh, this sounds crazy, but I don't really want to pay more than 50 bucks for the mono box set just because I have the mono records, the remasters on vinyl and they sound excellent and I love them. So having them on CD wouldn't, that doesn't really matter all that much to me, but it would be nice to have the box set. So Anyway, that's it for now. Just wanted to show you all my 2009 stereo box set. And uh, hey, stay tuned for more records being posted to my website, needlemeetsvinyl.com. Uh, I will have an Abbey Road, amazing UK pressing coming to the website early next week. Also, Sgt. Pepper, and uh, maybe a few other little surprises as well. So stay tuned and uh, take care, and bye for now.